that was damn disappointing. You have to have the black forest kick. View of the forest. Amazing. Okay, Thank goodbye. You. Thank you, bye bye. It's done. Returning the car, all is good. Not a single scratch, I hope. Yeah, that's fun. We are leaving Garmisch, the Bavarian Alps. I'm gonna miss it so much. And we are headed towards the Black Forest region. Pretty stuck on that, but yeah. And I miss my car. I feel attached to it. <laughs> So I spent an entire day travelling across Germany to the southwestern side and things did not go as planned. My connecting train got delayed and I took a wrong train and ended up in the middle of nowhere. Ah, this is the travel life, right? <laughs> Holy f I think the reception is closed already. F I'm screwed there. Hello. Hello, sorry I'm so No late. problem, yeah. Because the train got delayed. Thank goodness, I was prepared to sleep outside for the night. Wow. Hey everyone, so we are finally in the Black Forest region of Germany. Woo! Right now, I'm going to base myself in this very small cottage town of Gengenbach. It's so beautiful. It's, yeah, it's just like a cottage town and all the houses just look so beautiful and traditional. And this town is pretty quiet. It's not crazy crowded, which I absolutely love. I just love the vibes. So I took a short hike to a nearby hill where a small chapel sits on top of it and it was a very chill and beautiful evening. So I'm at this very popular restaurant called Skirto. Skirto. It's super popular, it's packed, it's actually fully reserved. But the, the two kind ladies at this table allowed me to sit with them. So. Hello! Hello! Enjoy! Hello! It. Hello. Hello. Thank you Hello. for letting me sit with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I ordered a pork stick with cheese, rosti. It looks good, smells good. I'm gonna have it. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Pretty special. Never had raw tea like that. Okay. Black Forest beer. Mm. Fresh. Burst. Burst. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so when you're in the Black Forest region, do stay in small towns like Gengenbach because they'll be able to give you a honest guest card. This will allow you to have free public transport in the Black Forest area. So that is pretty damn amazing because transport is not cheap around in Germany. So make sure you do so. And right now we are at Tribilk. 
or Triburg, which is a small little town in the Black Forest area. It has a beautiful waterfall and also home to the one of the world's largest cuckoo clocks and also the smallest cuckoo clocks in the world. So pretty cool place. Oh my god. Yo, that gave me a scare. <laughs> okay, to be honest, like I feel like getting one clock. <laughs> no, I'm not honest, but like it's so cute and magical. Like I feel like having one at my home. Although I would think that it would be quite annoying after maybe a week or so. <laughs> But it's so cute. Yo, this cuckoo clock costs 20,000 euros. <laughs> so it's about a 30 minute walk from the main town. Whew. Now I wish I had my car, but this is probably one of the world's largest cuckoo clock, which is going to ring in a bit. Right, so you need to pay one euro for this to work. Okay, to be very honest, to be very honest, that was damn disappointing. Like, yo, I expected like a big cuckoo cock, like cock, cuckoo bird to do some crazy things out of the door, but it was just like, ah, uh, meh. Even the ones in the shops, like, they are more interesting and more colorful and more bright, so. Um, Black Forest? Wow. Yeah, come on. Oh, this is original, yeah? Yeah. Original. So when in the Black Forest, you have to have the Black Forest kick. This cafe, at the cafe, they mentioned that this is the original Black Forest kick. I'm not really a huge fan of Black Forest cakes, but uh, you know, you have to try it still. It's a huge piece. Oh. Oh, it's not too bad. I like it. The alcohol is strong. I don't know, I, I don't have much experience with Black Forest cake, so I cannot judge it. But it's, it's nice. And uh, the alcohol the alcohol is quite strong, which has that kick with that cherry jam. It's nice and it's huge. Easy route or tougher route? Oh, look at that! This is Treeburg Falls, one of the highest waterfalls in Germany with a height of 163 meters, featuring seven beautiful cascades and drops. And the hike is made even more magical with the surrounding autumn foliage. Alright guys, so I'm in an area near Gutak. I've read quite a bit of good stuff about another summer toboggan ride or alpine coaster here in this area. It's called Summer Rodeban. It looks pretty epic. Let's go! God. 
not gonna lie guys um, I'm pissed off at myself I ran for the ride two times and two times the settings got screwed like what's going on Ugh. but yeah the summer rotoban highly recommended it's pretty fun it's like an alpine coaster can go really really fast worth a check out So for the next two days, I went to Europa Park, which was crazy epic, but I'm going to need another video for that. So stay tuned for the next episode. And for my last stop in the Black Forest region, I went to this place called Badville Bad, which is a three hour train journey from Gengenbach. It gave me all kinds of black forest feels. We are at bad, Bill bad. Man, the weather is bad and wild, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. So this is the amazing viewing tower that you can get to see over here. Holy crap, so there's this long ass slide in the tower. But it's closed today because of the weather. Look at my hair, it's horrendous. View of the forest, amazing. Although I would love not to be soaked in the rain, there was still a different kind of beauty that I experienced here in the forest with all the mist just shrouding around the entire area. And yes, there's still so much to do around the region, but this concludes my journey through the Black Forest. Hi kitty, hello. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. I'm finally in Europa Park. Oh. My favorite country, Switzerland. It is insane.